Hello, yogis at Yoga TX. This is Echo, and welcome to your practice. So, good morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you may be tuning in from. <clears throat> and I'm excited to have you here with me, whether it's your first time or whether it's your hundredth time. Um, it's a pleasure to invite you into my home here in Guatemala. So, bienvenidos. This is my little sanctuary by the lake, and you can't see it, but I have beautiful water to my right and volcanoes and I have mountains to my left so it feels like I'm cradled by the elements. And <clears throat> today's practice is inspired by fortitude and by strength, by fuerte. And for so many of us, especially when we're doing a yoga practice, there is this desire to stretch a little bit deeper, to extend a little bit longer, to go a little bit further. And where we can lose sight is extending into hyper um, function and going into hyper extension and actually pulling at the ligaments and the joints and creating some inflexibility in those ball and socket joints. And so the desire today is to bring some isometric strength into the practice. And so we will do um, our regular yoga practice and we'll make some shapes with the body. But my invitation for you is that instead of having the mindset of going further and extending deeper, to kind of pull your bones back into the joints. So if we're sinking into the right knee, you're pulling the right hip back. There's a contraction there. And there's an isometric pressure where we just stay in the position in stillness and build strength there. And so for so many of us that have stretched and stretched all of these years, or we're dancers or gymnasts, and even if you're not, if you've had this idea that yoga is to fold all the way to the ground and touch your toes, I'm inviting you to let that go, drop that notion, and bring in lengthening at the same time as strengthening. The two, the polarities can happen together. And so that is the desire today, is to let your practice lengthen you, but also allow it to strengthen the ligaments and the muscles that hold those bones into place. Because we have these lovely bodies for a short amount of time, but gravity and food and the wear and tear of stress really takes a toll on us as we get older. And so it's important that we move into these yoga practices, especially if we're doing them daily, with great intention and that just as much as we're lengthening, we're strengthening. We're not just hyper extending and trying to be noodles because what happens later for many yogis is that hyper extension wears on the joints and as we get older, our practice has to shift significantly. So let's start with that today. So we're gonna start standing at the top of the mat. <clears throat> so in standing, Let's just bring the hands alongside the body, relax the shoulders. And let's give a slight little shake to the body. Let the shoulders kind of hop in their joints. Moving from side to side. Flicking the hands. So we're just bringing some energy into the body. <clears throat> come into stillness, hands alongside the body. And even in your standing position, for so many of us when we stand during the day, we lean on one leg. <clears throat> for yogis, we might stand in tree pose on one leg as we're talking to people. Let's get used to standing with intention. So press the feet into the earth, the three corners of the feet, the left and the right of the front of the foot, the heel on the back, so press all sides in, and there's an inward rotation of the knees as you press down inward, and a lifting of the thighs, a slight tucking into the tailbone, hands resting by the body, press into the earth, lengthen through the spine, so we stand up tall, but we root down through the feet. And notice how much more effort it takes to stand with intention. Also notice if most of the time we're not standing with intention. Let the breaths come in and out of the nostrils. Let's take an inhale, lift the arms up. 
as you lift, keep the shoulders pulling down the back. So the shoulder blades don't lift, bring them down. Pause here. So notice even with lifting the shoulders, so many of us wanna overextend and have the shoulders up by the ears. Plug your shoulder blades down the back. Press down through the feet, lift through the arms, lengthen through the belly and spine. Again, with intention, there's a little bit more work to do. So let's take an inhale. And exhale, slowly fold, slight bend in the knees, folding down. And bring the hands alongside the back of the body like an aeroplane. Lengthen the legs, engage the core. Pause here, press down through the feet. Press hips back, chest forward, shoulders down the back. Everything is engaged. Take another inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Plant the hands, step back to a plank position. Pause here. Press firmly through the palms, pull the belly in. Shoulder blades down the back. A few rounds of breath here. Tighten everything up. Shoulders down the back, belly in, take an inhale. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. So in downward facing dog, press the palms firmly in. And again, that feeling of pulling the shoulders down the back so we're not overextending the arms. Lengthening through the legs, pressing the heels down towards the earth. Step the big toes closer together. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Exhale, step the right foot through. Bring the left knee down. Hands to the top of the right knee. Bring the upper body up. Now pull the right hip back in place as you sink into the right knee. So the left hip flexor lengthens as we pull the right hip back in place. Let's take an inhale, lengthen the arms up. So we're not just dumping into the posture, really lifting through the left knee, pulling the right hip back as we sink in. So we can feel the lengthening and strengthening. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to heart, twist to the right, left elbow towards the top of the left thigh. And keep the belly away from the knee here, away from the thigh. Really twisting from the belly, not from the neck. Shoulders down the back. Take an inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down to the earth. Shift the hips back towards the left heel. Bring the right foot forward. Right toes point up. Pull the right hip back in space and lengthen the spine. And when you're ready, slowly begin to fold to your edge. But keep pulling that right hip back in place. Dorsiflexion of the right toes towards the right shin. Deep breaths in and out of the nostrils. So we're going slow and with intention today. Let's bend the right knee. Bring the hands back around the right foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot through. Right knee down, hands to the left knee. Pull the left hip back in place. Sink into the left knee. <clears throat> when you're ready, reach the arms up. Shoulders down the back. So a lot of times when we just do, when we do yoga poses, we just hang out, you know? And a lot of us will overextend. So the right hip flexor here, I'm extending so much and you can't see it, but my right hip is beginning to externally rotate. We wanna keep the right hip rolling in, left hip pulling back, and that will keep us in our true edge. So you notice I have to come up a little bit higher. So do your best to not be transfixed by the yogis that go into a full split every posture. Our bodies are not meant to do that. Some, some are, can't speak for everyone. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart, twist to the left. Open the chest. 
belly away from the thigh. Let's take an inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, sink the hips back to the right heel, <clears throat> travel the left foot forward, left toes pop up. Find your true edge, lengthen the spine, fold to your edge, keep the shoulder blades moving down the back. Inhale, bend the left knee and step forward fold. So in your forward fold, fold and lengthen the legs. Take a hold of opposite elbows. Let the head hang here. Moving from side to side. So caring and nurturing our bodies mean really listening. Like where are our edges? Are we trying to go deeper and longer? Because that's what we think is best or can we feel what's best in our body? Let's take an inhale, lift halfway up, bring the arms alongside the body, press through the feet, hips push back, chest forward. Shoulders down the back, engage the core. On your next inhale, lift the arms up, slight back bend. Exhale, hands to heart. Hands alongside the body. Again, give a little shake. So let's move a little bit in energy. So when we're doing those slower, more isometric postures, energy can build up in the body. So we just give a little shake, a little release. I seem to have eating my hair this morning. <laughs> All right, come into standing. Find your intentional stand. Press down through all three corners of the feet. <clears throat> Lift through the thighs. Slight tucking in of the tailbone. Lengthen through the crown. Now let's shift the weight to the right leg. Pull the left knee into the chest, dorsiflexion of the left toes towards the left shin. Bring your left hand to the left thigh and press into the left thigh, left thigh presses back. Now a lot is happening here. The right hand can come to the right hip, nice and long through the spine. You're pulling the left hip back into the hip, or the right leg back into the hip as you're pressing down through the right hand and up through the left thigh. So there's that energetic lock of left knee back, or left, left knee back, left hip in, pressure down through the left hand, pressure up through the left thigh. Getting lost in my words this morning. All right, let's send the left leg forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, send the left leg back behind you, arms reaching forward. So we're balancing on the right foot. Press down through the right foot, back through the left foot. Keep the chest lifted. Arms alongside the ears. Slowly come up to standing and release the arms, little shake. So when it looks like we're not doing much and we're just standing, there's a lot happening still. So let's shift the weight to the left leg. Pull the right knee in, right hip back. Press down through the right hand and press back the right thigh. Left hand can come onto the left hip. Find a focal point and you might get a tremble. Let it tremble. Inhale. Exhale. Press the right leg back. Arms reach forward. Pull the right hip underneath the body.
And slowly up to standing, release the arms and get a little shake. <sighs> Flick the hands. <clears throat> and let's come down to the ground. So bend the knees, come down onto the seat. And we're going to bring the feet out in front of us. And now for the core. So core, <clears throat> like the spine, is the Godhead in the physical body. So we don't want a core just so that we can have beautiful abs. We want it to protect the organs, the vital organs of the body, and also to create a stronger structure. So if you're someone that tends to cave in and find it quite difficult, strengthening the muscles here in the core will help us to actually hold the body more upright. So there is more benefit than just the aesthetics of having core. So let's lean the chest back, <clears throat> lengthen the legs, and take the arms out alongside you. It's a tough one. So the legs might have to come down a little lower. I find that a little bit more challenging. You might begin to tremble, but hold your shape. Set the feet down, take a hold of the shins. Let the head drop in for a moment, take a breath. So each moment we know we're just doing some goodness for our body. These strengthening and lengthening practices are so vital for the longevity of the body. We could push ourselves into some really pretzly, flat postures, but at what cost? A lot of us, we like to run ahead, but this is the long game. So appreciate this practice as part of the long game. It might not be fun, but we're learning to be integral in our body. Let's come back up. Let's go for it again. Arms out, stretch the legs up, chest open. So this is our one vessel. It's important we strengthen all the nooks and crannies. So it's like going in and dusting out all the corners of the house, but with muscles and strength. And slowly coming back up, sitting up nice and tall. <clears throat> we'll do one last one here before we end our practice. And again, so our beautiful short little practices to do each day to just embody, start, your body will start to move that way. The way that you walk, the way that you sit at your desk, you'll begin to sit up taller and more prouder, which can shift your confidence, which can shift insecurities, which can shift your level of being able to communicate more clearly by strengthening these parts of the body that are also energetically connected to our connection networks and the way that we love and the way that we communicate. It's all connected. So this time, let's lean back, <clears throat> bring the feet up, arms alongside the legs. So a little boat pose. I'm gonna stay here for at least 20 seconds. So find a focal point, keep the knees moving in towards each other and pull that core in, open the heart space. Let it be a confident posture, not like a, oh, I really don't like you, Echo, but I'm here. I'm fully showing up for it. I'm here for the challenge. And slowly cross the ankles, sit up nice and tall. <clears throat> Shut the eyes down, and you might give a little shake of the hands. <sighs> Energy in the core, that fire, move it through the body. <clears throat> and let's just take a moment. We'll call it isometric stillness, <laughs> or isometric meditation, being silly, but just stillness. So even in this moment, the moment we want to stop, the practice is done. Instead, just being in stillness, being in silence. Let's take an inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
bowing head lightly towards the heart. May we learn to slow down. And may we learn that slow is the new strength. We don't need to overproduce, overdo. We don't need to do two or three hour long workouts or yoga practices, but even just 15 to 20 minutes of deep intentional practice can strengthen us over time. May we learn to be patient and play the long game a bit. May we be okay with uncertainty. And we just show up the best that we can each day. Namaste. Mm. Gracias, yogis and yoginis. Hope to see you again here in this beautiful abode of mine for the moment, this sanctuary, and take care of yourselves. And feel free to reach out in all the spaces down below. You can find me um, as Our Echo on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, all the places. And um, be well.